I really hope I am audible. Yeah. Hi, guess hey, I guess I am. Anand. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ka. Vishal, if you want, you too can go ahead and turn on your camera. So we will uh, we'll get started with this. Before I even introduce our guest, uh, start talking about the topic today. I'm just launching a poll, everyone in the audience. I'm just launching an opening poll for all of you. Has a couple of questions. Uh, all the 120 people of us, just go ahead, please answer uh, these couple of questions so that we can get an understanding of the audience. We can understand how many of you have already used WhatsApp Business API, the main topic of the day, and how many of you plan to run any Diwali, Christmas, New Year offer. These are the top three uh, festivals that I can think of that are coming up in these next two months. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have quite a lot of people answering already. 53, 54. Cool. Okay, so while people answer this, I'll put this out for a moment. Take care. Once again, guys, I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming on time. Thank you, speakers, for coming on time to this uh, masterclass about scaling your festive campaigns through WhatsApp. We have speakers directly from the people who make it, who sell it. We'll be talking about how you can use WhatsApp to scale up your marketing effort during this festive season. And uh, you know, India is, is a land of festivals, as they say. So this we are doing right now in lieu of Diwali, the share and this whole October, November, December festive months. But I think this is something that can be used across the year. So all of you are here, one, all these 140, 150 people, they will be getting the benefits of this masterclass, I think, across their lifetime, but more importantly, across the year, uh, 2024, they can, you know, align their entire marketing activities, uh, how they'll be using WhatsApp into it. All of this, Ekhtan Shivam will be talking about. So without uh, further ado, without wasting too much of time, I'll hop on directly to the introductions of the guests, um, starting with, because I see Shivam on the, the top in the list over here with me. So Shivam Dikshit from my Opera, he's here. He is the director of EBG Enterprise Business Group and Strategic Alliances and Partnerships at my Operator. Shivam, please go on and mute yourself. Just tell us a little about yourself and my Operator. Thank you, Sanal. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Shivam Dikshit, as Sanal told you. And... Uh... I have been in the industry on the business side for approximately uh, one and a half decades. And uh, I write from selling hardware to software to understanding new age technologies. Uh, I've, I've, been, uh, I've, I've been trying to uh, grasp uh, these new tools, especially WhatsApp has intrigued us uh, both personally as well as uh, on an organizational level. And we we are Meta Tech partners. We are tech partners with Meta, so I I take care of that partnership uh, for my operator. And apart from that, I take care of the enterprises account. So I think that's it. I stay in Noida. Yeah, thanks. Awesome, awesome, Shivam. Thank you so much for giving us a brief introduction. Ekta, over to you. Please let us know what you do at Meta. Who is Ekta uh, overall? How have you been uh, throughout the years? Awesome. Thank you, Sanat, so much. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Uh, I'm Ekta Agarwal, the Strategy Partner Manager uh, in Meta. I've been leading uh, WhatsApp messaging uh, along with Click to WhatsApp ads, which is as a product. Very excited to be here and talk about how you can actually scale your festive campaigns and use WhatsApp, which is the most used uh, channels nowadays that you use to talk to your families, friends, and now businesses as well. So very excited to be here and uh, share some of our learnings. Awesome, beautiful, thank you. Thank you so much, Ekta. And uh, we have one more participant in our panelist, which is uh, Mr. Vishal, Vishal. You know. So Vishal here is the founder of uh, WTF Gyms and Fitness. Vishal, please uh, introduce A, what is WTF Gyms? I think it's one of the most catchiest name that we have in a gym industry. <laughs> And uh, secondly, how have you been? Great. So uh, one, uh, so WTF at the moment is India's the fastest growing gym and fitness brand. And uh, we're very, I would say we're the most technologically advanced brand this country has at the moment in terms of uh, the fitness and gyms. And uh, uh, what we do is we partner with existing gyms, which are already running in the market. 
and we take them on and we operate them as a WTF branded gym. So you can think of them gyms ka oyo hai. What saral bhasha me is what I am building. And having said that, I mean, uh, we, have, we have been heavily using WhatsApp from day zero. Uh, but now we are scaling a lot more on automation and workflow management uh, to kind of control the customer journey for us. The movement, the renewal, the retention, the offering, the payment. I mean, we pretty much use WhatsApp for everything. That's how we work. Cool. So thanks. Thanks a lot. All these speakers today who are on the panel will be talking to our guests, uh, to our audience today. So uh, quickly before we hop on to how exactly are we doing anything, you know, I have one small question for you, Ekta, before you go ahead and tell people how exactly they can use WhatsApp to scale their festive campaigns. I uh, just want to know that, you know, we are towards the end of 2023 and uh, you at Meta, you know, you are the people who are the makers of WhatsApp. So you are the people who know uh, how the usage of WhatsApp has grown over the, not just years, I'd say over the months also. So years is over, like, of course, in the last couple of years, WhatsApp has grown. Over the months also, January 2023, we're talking about December 2023 now. Over the months, WhatsApp has taken up one of the major spaces, the primary channel for customer communication, marketing campaigns and whatnot. So what does the trend look like? How are the marketing campaigns scaling in 2023? And then we can definitely talk about uh, how people can scale their WhatsApp campaigns uh, using uh, WhatsApp Business API. So, thanks, Anna, that yeah. to present, I'm turning off my presentation. Feel free to present. Sorry? Feel free to present. I'm turning off mine. So, you can feel free to present yours. If okay. you have I'll, ju I'll, ju I'll just speak about it. Uh, I have a presentation. I'll use it like in the latest slot. But yeah. I'll just speak through how WhatsApp has grown and... Like it start, it all started with when, uh, Meta or at, at that time Facebook purchased WhatsApp at nineteen billion dollar nearly like a decade ago, and recently like I'm just quoting a article which was published by Mark Zuckerberg, uh, that how Meta is trying to tap on the strengths of WhatsApp. So earlier when when WhatsApp was launched and purchased, we all said that okay we let it be it's a very private channel, and then. Slowly and slowly, that option grew so much uh, that now we know that a lot of businesses are also talking to people and people want to talk to business. It's not just like people to people communication now. Uh, I'll share some of the stats in our presentation also, but there are 175 million messages where people talk to brands, not just you and me talking to our friends and family. And that's why we feel like marketing or bringing or being on that channel where people want to talk is very important uh so there are communications and nowadays like it's the attention span of a consumer is like a goldfish they don't want to pay a lot of attention if you don't reply to them instantly where they want to see the reply that opportunity is lost and that's right. why i say like you have to build your solutions on whatsapp and use that channel which is which is reaching like on a 500 million plus people in India, right? So that's why we feel it's very, very important. And we have seen a huge growth, not only in terms of active users, but as a click to WhatsApp and paid messaging opportunity, the market has been like the 2030 is like more than a billion dollar. So why not sail on the boat where, where Meta has said that, okay, it's going to grow a lot. And in India, clearly the number indicates that everyone wants to chat on WhatsApp. So that's why we feel like it's important for all the people here to learn about how they can build the right solution and right strategy for their festive campaigns on WhatsApp. Totally makes sense. And I think according to our polls also, we see that a lot of people around 52% people, half of the audience here has said yes, that they plan to run some Diwali, Christmas, New Year offers. I'm assuming most of these people are here just to understand how are they going to make the most of it. Yeah. I think you can you can take the stage on that topic going forward. Yeah, please feel free to present now. I mean, like uh, the next thing, the next topic that I want to talk about is as simple as the elephant in the room. In what ways a business owner can scale their festive campaigns on WhatsApp? Oh, uh, Sarah, just one thing. I think like uh, the screen sharing is disabled. So hold on. Ah, all right. My bad, it was host only, now it's host and panelists. Okay, awesome. Let me know once you can see the screen. We can? 
yeah awesome. can we can see cool. awesome. so these are a few topics which i wanted to cover today so obviously why and what of whatsapp and a whatsapp business platform how do you build a festive strategy on whatsapp including both ctw and marketing messages at the lever i'll follow through this the case studies also on what are some of the industry standards or industry success stories which we have seen and some of the metrics which they have seen and lastly i'll also talk about some of the best practices you can utilize on whatsapp and you are building this solution so that's what i was talking about 200 2 billion active monthly users across 180 countries but we always can say that hey this is you and me talking to the families but there are 175 million people who are communicating to a whatsapp business account every day so it's important for us to be there and cater to your custom your users and convert them to become your customers how can meta help you win this a it's the largest messaging app globally so people spend time here if you are present here they are willing to hear you and they are willing to hear about your business here on the app they don't have to download any new app for this the second is with the ads and the powerful ads engine which we have not just whatsapp audience you can capture but you can also capture the facebook and instagram audience and bring them to your whatsapp account by running the click to whatsapp ads and last but not the least is there are different apis uh, which are powered by or which are the advanced solution because the kind of business you are doing and if you are not able to manually manage the scale of the messages which are coming to you which i am sure like should be a good problem to handle then advanced pro pro problem solutions are there via the apis and one of our partners like my operator also provide such solution and you can integrate with them uh, on a whatsapp solution i've been talking so much about business messaging whatsapp messaging but what is it the messaging business messaging enables you to engage with the customers in a very valuable and relationship building conversations you just don't talk to them hi hello but they want to actually know about your product they want to know whether you have an sku present they want to know whether the delivery is possible to certain pin code or xyz like they want to understand and talk to the brand and this is the way you can do this is business messaging or whatsapp business messaging talking about the ecosystem so the first app which exists in whatsapp world is the consumer app which we generally use and download and say that okay these we are talking to our friends we are talking to our families the second kind of app is the whatsapp business app which is whatsapp or business app if you go to the play store or google store you will be able to see that app and that's that's what we call an smb app you can download it free of cost and you can start building your business profile and talking to your customers manually through that app but once you scale even a little and if you think like hey i cannot handle 200 messages manually every day because i'm getting 200 messages through click to whatsapp ads through different discovery channels then we have a business platform which is for mid to high enterprise clients and you can build those solutions via one of our dsps or isps how does the business service provider play a role they are basically an intermediate between meta and which is whatsapp business platform and your company so they will be able to integrate this for you via meta just briefly talking about there can be two type of messages a user initiated messages wherein a user comes search you and discover about you manually from their end and they start talking it could be qr code it could be instagram ads facebook ads it could be any entry point uh then there is a business initiated conversation which where you have the opt in from a brand or opt in from a person and you just reach out to them or if you are a b2b you have an opt in from a brand and you reach out to them and those conversations could be bulk messages also which could be uh, marketing messages or that could be another categories which is utility or the service messages coming to the core part of today's discussion a festive season strategy so there could be three stage strategy which you can plan for first is 
before the festive season begins or the actual implementation of engagement begins, you need to work on the discovery and increase the top of the funnel. For example, if you have the database of 100 clients who have already made a purchase with you, you need to grow that to 10x and have 1000 people who know about you or you have the database about. So you can run the click to WhatsApp ads to increase that discovery. Second is the engagement. Once you have the database of 1000 people, festive season is the season where people want to buy and test out new brands. We as Meta have done some analysis and survey where we found that during the festive season, especially during the Diwali festive season in India, people are more open to buy from new brands and they want to try those new brands and they have the more buying capacity and uh, engagement with the brands at that time. So it's the right time to engage with them. Once you sell them and the festive season is over, it's very important to keep that customer intact and increase the lifetime value of the customer. You can cross sell, upsell and resell the products or services which you would have already, which they would have already purchased from you. Or you can offer some kind of loyalty programs and give the transaction details as well. Coming to the first level, which is discovery to build the user base before the festive season begins. Uh, you can run the click to WhatsApp ads for two major uh, use cases, which is commerce and lead gen. This is the kind of ad which looks like if you see on the right side, there is a beauty brand who showcases and puts in the say, click to WhatsApp ads. And you can put this or place this ads on any of the Facebook placements, for example, Facebook feed, Facebook marketplaces, Instagram feed and Facebook and Instagram stories. Once you put these ads, they click on it and they will take you to the WhatsApp handle of the brand. So. I am tapping on the user base of Facebook and Instagram and utilizing the channel, which is the most commonly used app, which is WhatsApp for an engagement. So that's the best kind of a strategy which you can adopt. What are different tools? So for example, uh, your presence is already there in tier one cities, but in this Diwali, you feel that the product is such, or you might have launched a new product or you want to reach out to the tier two audiences as well to increase the top of the funnel. So you can actually through click to WhatsApp ad, you can target that particular segment, that particular geography or location, which you want to go and capture. There could be different age, gender, demographics, which you can target, or you can also create some lookalike audiences uh, to reach out to. After doing this, there is a powerful engagement channel or format on the ads itself. I can show the ads, but it should be compelling and enough in the terms of creatives and the tagline which you write for me to click on it. So it's very important to use different ad formats. For example, you can use carousels, you can use video ads or images as you want. So different options are available. And what we recommend to use while building such ads is using the conversation optimization and build a very, very engaging journey over WhatsApp once they reach there. The best strategy for click to WhatsApp ads is paying attention to both the levers, pre ad setup, which is click to WhatsApp ads and the WhatsApp ads channel, which is the post click experience. So you need to concentrate on both the pieces. They should talk to each other and not be broken from each other. Now you can leverage this for different use cases for generating different leads for driving sales for building loyalty. How do you do that is through the customer's life cycle. So first piece is awareness, where if you have launched a new product or if you want to give a brand experience to a customer, you can build the awareness campaigns and run the click to WhatsApp ads and devise your journey in a way that, hey, we have launched a product which is a great in shoes segment, right? And for the shoe segment, this is the USP of the product. And you can tell that USP over the chat and how is it different? Engage the audience there and then make them, make them buy that product. The second funnel is the consideration set. You can obviously in India, there is offers, coupon codes, 
uh, which you can always share over the creatives, over the ads and ask, like, let them start that journey, give them the coupon code and then let them buy that product using that coupon code. You can, if you are in a service industry, you can also think about booking the trials, booking the demos or buying, letting them buy the subscriptions uh, via lead generation, you can also do. So these are certain kind of consideration use cases which you can think in this piece of the funnel. Last but not the least is purchase and post-purchase. Uh, you can run targeted offers. For example, people have, who would have uh, browsed through, but they have not purchased. Those who have wish listed and not purchased, you can run targeted offers for them. You can also consider making an inbuilt journey of payment on your WhatsApp so that there is no scope of churn at all. Everything from starting a conversation, knowing about the product and purchasing happens on the same platform. So these are different stages of the funnel where you can use them. Now coming to some of the experiences or some of the case studies on click to WhatsApp. Uh, so PWD experiences clogged 84% lead conversion with click to WhatsApp ads. And as you can see that they have run a very simple ad saying that, hey, there was earlier offer of $14.99 where you can take the daily yoga classes or a weight, lo weight, loss, weight loss yoga classes. Now it is at $4.99. You just WhatsApp us and purchase it, right? Now in this case, people have a lot of questions. Hey, how the class will happen? Uh, what is the mode? What is the frequency and everything? And they want to chat about it. So once they chat, you can easily convert them to your actual customers. O2 India, they saw like 50% lower cost per lead with ads that click to WhatsApp and 60% lower cost per qualified lead. What they did is they ran click to WhatsApp ad campaigns and they wanted people to get loans and apply for loans. They shared simple information about themselves and then they can apply about the loan. And they saw that as a incremental lead generation channel for themselves. And they saw 2.5x more qualified leads as compared to any other channel which they had. Car and bike, again, a really good example. Um, what they did is they ran click to WhatsApp ads to increase the supply of people who want to sell their cars. And they, they used it as a lead generation channel. They got 50% lower cost per qualified lead. Uh, as compared to any other channel with click to WhatsApp. Here original, that's my favorite, like one of the very rare examples where they don't directly ask you to purchase, but what they have understood their problem statement is that people don't know how to use the hair extension. So they used click to WhatsApp ads not to make a purchase, but to book a demo class and understand how hair originals hair extension work. Once you understand it, they know their product is very powerful and you will make a purchase. And with this concept, they were able to get a 52% reduction in lead cost uh, via click to WhatsApp as compared to any other ad type. Flipkart is another example where you can where they ran click to WhatsApp ad for their big billion day sale and they got 3.5x more conversions uh, via CDWA ads. Coming to the engagement piece, during the festive season that you have created the top of the funnel with click to WhatsApp ads, you can actually build a very, very nice uh, engagement journey. And it's important to build this journey very effectively. Using the WhatsApp business platform, you can add different personalization. You can add different consumer experiences and also the catalog integration is possible if you want to do it on WhatsApp. Like we talked about engagement and ad formats on the creatives, there are different formats which you can use on WhatsApp as a channel. So you can send messages, images, videos, audios, documents, and stickers, everything on a WhatsApp to make it more engaging uh, for the consumer. If you can see that there are different type of buttons and cards which are available. So for example, list messages, uh, you can click and show them a menu wherein they can select a different category. It's a radio button. Once you click on that radio button, you it will come as a message and you can start interacting with them. Or you can have a multi-product messages 
which you can see in the fourth screen. These messages are the ones where you can see it in the form of a cart or as a catalog. Uh, you can also integrate and they can add few items of SKUs and then add to cart and finally make a purchase even on WhatsApp. Coming to what are the use cases and how we can use it in our life. So there are different audience or different segments which you want to uh, first cater to for engaging. The first one is obviously the journey drop-off campaigns, wherein somebody has browsed your product, but they have not made a purchase. They have added it to the cart, but they have not made a payment. So these are the people whom you can send the marketing messages and nudge them that, hey, this is the Diwali season. You added this product or you browse this product. Do you want to buy it? There is a sale which is going on. Or maybe there is a discount which has come up. Do you want to go ahead and buy the product? So you can nudge the customer, uh, which is more likely to buy a product or a service. You can upsell or cross-sell. For example, if somebody has bought one pant, or one top, which is a sleeves top, uh, you can nudge them and say, hey, we saw that you have bought like a wide top earlier. Do you want to buy an accessory which goes with it? Uh, maybe an earring, shoes, handbags, and cross-sell and upsell, whatever you want to do because that person has already made a purchase. And all this you can send via marketing messages. The third category is the wish list. A lot of people wish list few things, but then they don't, they forget about it. They don't buy it. So it's a great time during the festive season to nudge them that, hey, you, you wish listed uh, so-and-so dresses. We have that in back in stock or we have the discounts on it. Do you want to still buy it? Or this is the festive season. This goes really great in the traditional attire. Do you want to buy it? So you can send them those nudges to make the experience more valuable. The other category is the product replenishment. So for example, if the product has gone out of stock, you can tell them that, hey, this product is back in stock. We know that you were looking for it. And also there is a 15% discount just for you. So do you want to buy it now? And just nudge the customer so that they can now come again to the whole buying journey and make the purchase. Coming to the use cases or the case studies, like we have seen what are the different type of audiences or the use cases which you can cater through marketing messages. Uh, coming to some of the brands who have already used it, other businesses, Zoop. So they deliver food while you are traveling on the train and the network is very, very bad. So it's important to be there on a WhatsApp journey. It, it becomes very easy for anybody to just WhatsApp and place an order. So they took an advantage of the low bandwidth which you require on WhatsApp and the most downloaded app which is already there in your phone. So they built a curated a journey to order food on WhatsApp and they saw 8% incremental growth in the orders which, which are there. Purple Punchy, that's a very classic case of where they have built the entire journey on WhatsApp. Uh, they send the marketing messages for different use cases. And if you can see here, you can also see their catalog, add to the cart and make payment. And with this whole experience, they were able to see 20% higher average customer spend from the orders which were coming from WhatsApp. So there was a lot of value add which they see in terms of the total value of the orders which were coming to them. Tata Click. Every, every marketing message experience, which I just talked about, they actually built all of those experiences, starting from people who browse for one month, uh, sending them marketing messages, who have abandoned the cart. There were price drop alerts for wishlisted products, and there were welcome coupons for the new users. And they have built all the different experiences for different kind of categories of people which were landing on them. And with this, they saw like a 10x ROI as compared to any other traditional channels which are there. Coming to post sales, uh, in this, obviously, the first thing is if somebody has made a purchase, you can give them updates about their purchases that this is your order ID, this is where it is, you can track it using this link. Or you can also give them some brand updates such as any other promotion codes which you have. You can offer them support via this channel. 
and you can also give them an option to talk to any of the live agents and maybe cross sell and upsell some of the products that you have just wanted to share one key study on this so bajaj alliance used a real time customer support 24 cross 7 customer support on whatsapp and they were able to cater to 2.4 lakh customers who were interacting with their bot monthly to fulfill any of the policy compliances now that we have heard about what are the use cases and how do you build the entire strategy it's important to know how to do it best and how to do it in the right way so this is the first thing what we do is whenever you are creating those ads you should always customize or optimize for conversations so if you go and create those ads you can see more, more link click and conversation both as an optimization option but we recommend using the conversation encourage uh, to put at least five questions for your ad so whenever you are creating the ads you get an option to create faqs we recommend adding at least five faqs so that it becomes easier for the customer to start interacting with you uh, so because you are the best judge to tell that hey mostly when the customer comes in these are the five things which they want to know about the broader buckets and then there could be like a carry forward session which you can do with them so set the expectations right so if you have a campaign make it very very visual the call to action which should be very clear are you going to talk about sale are you going to talk about the product launch are you going to talk about certain category so it should be very very clear to set the expectation right when you are showing those ads communicate the value and deliver it if you are showing ad or if you are wherever you are trying to bring the customer from maybe ad qr code wherever so the context should align with the customer journey on whatsapp if you are talking about sale then the conversation which starts on whatsapp should not talk about the product first it should talk about the coupon first because the customer has seen the sale thing and then they have come to your whatsapp journey and if you have shown a category first that hey there is a new product launch then don't talk about the discount coupon first talk about that product first because the customer has come to know about the product so the journey should align very well use always the buttons because it's easier to tap than type there are different type of buttons which are available for example call to action buttons quick reply and the reply buttons there are list messages which i talked about earlier so use those list messages to make the navigation easy create personalized experiences and use the multi product messages this will help you to create the actual commerce journey or actual journey where people can make a purchase without leaving the platform be very very responsive and don't just go for a bot give also a human touch or a human angle to it so we always ask you to go to a hybrid model if your product is very customizable in nature or needs a human intervention please give that option to the customer so that's where i end my presentation uh, but just want to summarize what i told now it's very important to be present on whatsapp because that's where your consumers are build a festive strategy as 50 percent of you have said that we have discount coupons and campaigns which are going on for festive season please use this medium to engage with them and don't just engage now do a post sales experience as well so that whenever you increase the top of the funnel your existing funnel always be there with you and they become your customers in future as well uh, so that's about it happy to hand it over to sanat and hope this was helpful it definitely was it definitely was i think uh, i went through the entire slide one by one as you were saying and i was pretty much hooked to it and uh constantly telling a couple of my peers you know you should be at here so a lot of people joined after i picked them that see this is what is going on you need to come here and see it for yourself so that is that is uh you know again uh before i move on to shame and ask about what exactly my operator will do to enable everything that you have said in your presentation i think i'll sum it up in this way that as i mentioned earlier 
India is a land of festivals, right? There are too many festivals. We are not just talking about Diwali, New Year, and Christmas. We're talking about the entire 2024 calendar till the next November, probably. So you start now and you cover the next uh, 2024 and so forth with WhatsApp uh, and everything up as that is coming up in WhatsApp. Now, Shivam, you know, I know you have been waiting very patiently to talk about how everything that Ekta has said in her presentation can be enabled by my operator. So you being the enabler in this entire conversation, you know, between you, me and Ekta, please go ahead, you know, if you have something to present, uh, feel free to share your screen. I hope you can. And definitely tell how can my operator uh, allow people or enable people to do everything that has been discussed so far. So, uh, thank you, Sanal. And thank you, Ekta. That was a very well-crafted presentation. So, uh, basically, whatever uh, Ekta covered, I mean, uh, at my operator, we have a very feature-rich platform using which we are able to provide all the value that can be extracted through the WABA, the WhatsApp Business API. So allow me to share my screen. Uh, sure. Is my screen visible? Yes, it is visible. You can go into the slide show or full screen mode. Is, it, is this visible? Perfect. Perfect. So uh, how much time do we have, Sanat? I think at the moment you have all the time you need, but like say another 10 minutes. 10 yes. minutes. And then Thank you. Michelle, yes. And then, you know, we, we, we were very clear, clear that uh, this is such a topic. We'll have so many loads of questions. We already have them in chat that this is Thank going you. to extend to say 515, 520. So I hope the audience is already ready for that. Sure. So I quickly uh, take you, uh, take the audience through the journey that uh, we would suggest for a festive campaign and how, what are the tools that we have uh, at my operator that will help them achieve and, and enable this kind of a journey for the customer. I'll try to take all the questions towards the end of the session. In case uh, we reach the end of the session uh, and we are not able to answer all the questions, please, uh, uh, we would share a QR code with you where you can schedule a, a one-to-one -one session with one of the Meta certified uh, consultants who would probably handhold you through the entire uh, consultation on how to plan your event calendar, right? I'll just come to that. So uh, as uh, Sanad was saying that India is a land of festivals, we have 50 plus festivals in the calendar year. And uh, festivals is a beautiful opportunity for all the brands and businesses for two reasons, of course, uh, audience engagement and rolling out offers for upping up the sales entity. And what better platform than WhatsApp to utilize that? As you can see, the WhatsApp open rates have been almost double the uh, open rates of SMS and almost six times the open rate of uh, emails. So uh, this has given much better uh, rates, uh, conversion rates, click-through rates, and open rates as compared to the other traditional mediums. So moving on, how you can uh, work upon that? So only three, three points. First, we will focus on creating a very uh, high intent prospect list. We would try to, uh, that that's what we call it, WhatsApp lead inroads. So inroads are, uh, are lead generation tools that we deploy. We will talk about them. The second is running the campaigns on the prospect list. So the, in the first step, we generate the list of people who want to understand and know about our services. In the second step, we run a campaign on those on, on that list. And in the third step, we measure, we learn, and we improve upon the data set that uh, we get from running these campaigns. So for the first thing is WhatsApp lead in roads. So you can also call lead in roads as lead sources. So uh, these are small tools that we leverage uh, to create channels for leads to reach us. So for example, the first is QR codes. Now QR codes, uh, 
uh, I'm not sure how many of you know, but you can create your WABA, your WhatsApp business account into a QR code and the customer who scans it lands directly in your business's WhatsApp account. So let's say if he says, hi, you just scan this and say, hi, the customer's name and phone number is already with you. They have registered as a valid lead. So we, we, we tell all our customers to make sure that this QR code is there on all of their branding materials, their sales collateral. If they are doing an out of home uh, advertisements, TV advertisement, media print, everywhere, wherever they are reaching out, they should have a QR code. This gives a lot of leverage. You would not even uh, know who's looking at a billboard that is in another part of the city and he's scanning and uh, he's registering your, uh, himself or herself as a lead on your platform. So this is one of the inroads that we have for WhatsApp leads. The second is a chat button on website. Now this button again is much better than the traditional chat buttons on the website. Uh, or using the chat buttons on the website, what happens is there's a form or an engagement that happens. But as soon as the customer reaches through a WhatsApp button, you already have his phone number and the individual's or the business's name with you. And that makes it all the more easy for reach out. The third is uh, links. So this is also very interesting. I mean, uh, you click on the link, this, these links can be forwarded very easily in messages. Uh, I recently uh, uh, came across a very uh, uh, interesting message from an NGO that has a WhatsApp link at the end of the uh, message. And it was a viral forward. I'm not sure. I, I believe most of you would have received. But using that link, I was able to directly converse with them. So, uh, that that makes the conversation easy. It's it's not there. It's not that uh, the business or the brand is way too far to reach you. It's it's just that it's there in your WhatsApp inbox. You can just click on the link and you can reach them directly. Third, as Ekta had covered also with CTWA, which is click to WhatsApp ads. So click through WhatsApp ads is something like this uh, on Instagram and on Facebook. You can set up your own ads that would have a button something like this. Uh, if I can use an annotation, yeah, something like this, where uh, it says send WhatsApp message. Now, as soon as a customer clicks on this, he lands in the business's WhatsApp uh, account. It's it's the personal, I, I mean, uh, the, uh, the customer has through his own phone reached out to the business and the business can reach out to them again. So these are uh, four, uh, five uh, major inroads that we want the customers to focus on. The second part, uh, yeah. So the second part is once we have these uh, high intent list, once we have the list of these prospects, uh, we need to ensure that we all the basic hygiene is covered. And in the steps that I have mentioned, basic hygiene means that we have opt-in proofs uh, from the customers. We, we don't want to uh, directly bombast it to every random person or a random database from the market. We want to generate uh, the list and these inroads help us do that. The second step is running a campaign. Now, there can be two types of campaigns. In WhatsApp, what I believe, the customer has its, has its own journey, right? It's not like... Uh, uh, the So, for example... Uh, there's a brand uh, that we have onboarded what right from the discovery stage to the payment stage and post payment services everything has been taken care of on whatsapp itself on the whatsapp platform itself and similarly for a brand uh, another brand we we've, we've enabled a sales journey so what they were earlier doing with Amazon, on Amazon, they had listed their product. The customer needs to go there, purchase the product, and they were getting uh, the delivery. And it was very seamless on the on the e-commerce platform. This is what I, I personally call as W-commerce. Same thing can be done in WhatsApp also. Your customer can come, they can browse through your catalog, they can select a product, they can uh, make the payment without even leaving WhatsApp. They can track the product 
and once the product has reached you you can also uh, fill in the feedback for the product those journeys are now being created for the customers the entire life journey of a customer uh, are being created so now uh, coming to the uh, original question uh, running campaigns on the leads how do we do that right we we do not want to rush in and say hey uh, this is our product and you buy we want to build a repo we want to establish our authority or uh, uh, we want to showcase uh, um, thought leadership in a particular domain so you share certain valuable information with the customer wherein the customer gets engaged and feels yes uh, this particular brand is giving me some helpful information with that you uh, there are uh, certain steps that uh, we ask the people to follow like building a customer anticipation uh, following some pre wind messaging reminders for the sales uh, clear cta with the sales post event messaging so more or less uh, what ekta shared uh, it's there moving on so the last step this is like uh, most almost all the marketers they skip this step they they end with this step they calculate the roi and that's it but uh, here this is i feel this is one of the most important step and we have been consistently doing this we've created our own templates for measuring learning and repeating i mean you uh, won't be able to improve what you won't be able to measure so as the first step we have our uh, entire analytics the campaign analytics in built in our system i will showcase the screenshots uh, in a couple of minutes so uh, we would be measuring those analytics with the sales figure and the revenue generated along with the roi we would understand what worked and what did not work we would do comparative analysis with previous campaigns and based on that we would try and improve the future festive campaigns so uh, 50 plus festivals means uh, multiple festive cycles in india right so uh, yes how do we enable this to the main questions we have a very feature rich uh, platform four important aspects of the that platform i will just cover only four aspects one is the multi agent chat which is like uh, multiple agents can talk to the customers simultaneously all at once say you have hundreds of cus customers reaching out so there there can be multiple agents that would be replying to them in real time uh then we have no code chatbot so if you can see it's a wizwig it's a drag and drop uh, setup that you can establish to build your own chatbots you need not code anything so it's a very helpful tool for uh, um, new age marketers who need to create uh, multiple chatbots or need to make changes to their chatbots regularly depending upon different occasions third is bulk campaign with analytics analytics as i was saying we we track what is the uh, how much has been sent what uh, the sent percentage the delivery percentage the read percentage how much uh, uh, what is the ctr how many campaigns have been replied and more such analytics are in built uh, in the reporting system yeah moving on uh, so uh, we as i told you we have an integrated journey with e-commerce platforms and uh, that journey provides a seamless experience of uh, having uh, a cart within the whatsapp uh, application so you don't have to move outside the whatsapp application you will be able to browse through the products uh, in the catalogs you can see you can uh, order the product and you can also uh, purchase that i mean you can make the payment within without leaving the whatsapp app so i'll end with a case study Uh, this is for a leading skincare products brand that we did and as i mentioned the entire customer journey from discovery to retention final final sales and retention was done on the whatsapp platform only so these these guys were very smart they created a, a repetitive uh, campaign of giving out daily free gift at 12 noon what that did was it saw huge influx influx of female audience in the age group of 28 to 42 years uh, between 11:35 am to 12:40 pm so for that one hour there was a huge influx of female audience that was seen this is a skincare product brand and since they had integrated e-commerce platform 
uh, the platform was able, the product uh, section, the product catalog was able to register multiple product views. Uh, there, there was a consistent hike uh, in the number of views in the product. And uh, uh, with this, they were able to create a sustained prospect inflow on a daily basis throughout this festive season, season sale. The total sales in last month uh, crossed 3.x of September. I mean, we ran this campaign for them in October and it crossed 3. Point, uh, it was 3.5x of what the September sales figures were. The total budget allocated was 1.12 lakhs for this the revenue generated was approximately 38 lakhs and the ROI that was derived was 33x. So uh, that was for one of the uh, products. Uh, we have replicated this for multiple industries, be it uh, education or healthcare or uh, technology. Uh, some might fit the festive uh, calendar some might not fit the festive calendar but but more or less every uh, campaign or every uh, calendar has to be uh, designed uh, it has it has to be personalized as per the requirements of the brand so uh, this was a quick overview would be happy to uh, answer any questions that are there or probably uh, sanad you want to take it over from here yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so we'll answer these questions. We have quite a lot of questions, not just any. I think we have too many questions that we'll be able to take uh, before we hit, say, 5.15 even. So even with an extension of 15 minutes, I don't think we'll be able to cover all questions. But never mind. People feel free to keep on uh, dropping your questions. Uh, before I hop on and uh, you know talk to Vishal here, who is going to share his experience of using WhatsApp because he has done that extensively. I would just uh, answer a few blanket questions that will we share these decks with you? We'll definitely share some uh, informative decks about my operator and WhatsApp with you post even through emails, through WhatsApp, to all the attendees. We'll also share the call with this session recording with you all. And for demos, ideally, this session is not about a product demo, but more about how you can do something using WhatsApp. So these demos, uh, we'll share a QR code towards the end of this session in the Q&A, you can scan that and set up a demo with our team later. Now, as of now, I believe Vishal, if you can turn on your camera. So I can see. You. Yes, yep. I'm here. I'm here. So we have uh, Vishal here. He's, he's one of the users of Waba. He's the founder of a uh, gym and uh, fitness company. You know, uh, first of all, Vishal, one thing I would like to understand from you is how are you using Waba to run offers? Because a lot of people are asking, we do this, but how do we do this? We need a real example. So please give us. See, so one of the things I'll tell you, so we started a campaign, I think two days back only, right? So what we did for the fitness, the entire audience is on the Instagram Reels. So we've been targeting Instagram Reels with a campaign for the Diwali offer and stuff like that, which eventually sends the WhatsApp message. Now for WhatsApp, we are taking a specific string that we target. Let's say I want this XYZ offer. For that string, there is a flow that we have built. So when someone says, I want this offer, then immediately we ask which location you are, Noida, Delhi, Ghaziabad. Then you click on that. Then we said on Noida, which sector you are. They click on a sector. Now in the sector, we sell a list of gyms. That these are gyms we have X, Y, Z, 4. They select a gym. Then on that gym, we set the plans. That these are the plans we have. And then I have recorded a beautiful video as a founder to welcome them in my family and stuff. That what WTF is, why we are the best gym brand in the market right now there's no one as good as us, stuff like that because when they listen something from the founder it it gets the connection ready once the video is, is done then they may just say that hey i'm interested so we give them two options one is pay 99 rupees right now and block the membership or pay the whatever the package price is because gym is a space where people want to go and visit the gym so the moment they pay the entire price all great but if they pay 99 rupees, 99 rupees is nothing as compared to the price so they pay 99 rupees and what happens the moment they pay 99 rupees, we send the, so there are two campaigns. One of the campaigns, we send the gym video. How does that gym look like to them? So they're able to get, see the gym right away at the moment that, okay, yeah, this is how the gym look like. These are the people. So we have recorded the videos of the trainers that, hey, I am your trainer at this gym and stuff. So yeah, full field area. Unko. Then, as they booked, they booked slots. Booking ka. Book your trial slot. 
नो ट्रायल स्लॉट दे बुक अ ट्रायल स्लॉट दे सेट सबमिट एंड देन अब इसके बाद हमें थोड़ा सा और ऑप्टिमाइजेशन करने हैं इज टू रीडू दिस सो दिस इज हाउ वी रनिंग द एंटायर फ्लो जर्नी फॉर अस ऑलराइट एंड दैट सेम विशाल यू नो आई गेट इट इन दैट्स दैट्स एक्चुअली अ गुड यूज केस हाउएवर आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी रन दिस यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग दिस uh how has it worked differently and i'm assuming better only from the traditional channels that you used to use before you ever started using whatsapp see i'll tell you so for me sms so we do omni channel marketing hardcore omni channel marketing so we do sms we do as you know whatsapp we do email we do advertisements we do physical marketing so the purpose in marketing and i'm, I'm a performance marketer also by background apart from the founder कस्टमर को ना हर तरह से बॉम्बार्ड करना पड़ेगा सी प्रॉब्लम इन व्हाट्सएप एंड वी हैव टू इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी गेट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ कंपनीज व्हाट्सएप एवरी डे इट्स नॉट जस्ट मी राइट यू वांट योरसेल्फ टू बी प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कस्टमर दैट्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो यू गोट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ रील्स यू ऑन द व्हाट्सएप यू ऑन द ई मेल यू ऑन दस एम एस यू नो सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट द रिकॉल वैल्यू So in WhatsApp, because there are too many messages comes to you. I have my WhatsApp. I, if a brand is not creating a recall value for me, that message goes unread. I don't even read that. So right. the the trick which I have been able to crack in WhatsApp primarily because WhatsApp is the most used platform. Now, when something is most used, it gets overwhelmed as well. Now, right now, when I when I wake up in the morning, I have probably ten messages from the order comes from different companies, and then I have my relevant message goes below. <laughs> So I have to ask you, okay, okay, my message is where? Which I have to read. I don't read them because someone is not triggering me on all the channels. It it so my CTR and my conversion rate is very high. So my CTR 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 is very high. to trigger someone on whatsapp because whatsapp is for me it's the action taker you can take an action on whatsapp you can't take an action on sms you can't take an action on email you can't take an action on website but all the other channels requires that presence that someone goes on whatsapp to maine pehle subah email bhej diya fir dopahar mein reel dikha di fir shaam ko whatsapp ke to bande ne apna ha yaar dekha to tha let me explore more Correct. and then you have to also analyze what time you getting the most click through rate open rate तो वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है कि मेरा ओपन रेट किस समय ज्यादा आ रहा है और कब मेरे पास सबसे ज्यादा रिप्लाईज आ रहे हैं उसके हिसाब से रीस्ट्रेटाइज द कैंपेन फॉर द वन और टू वीक्स टू अंडरस्टैंड कि कहां पे क्लिक थ्रू रेट आ रहा है किस टाइम ओपन कर रहे हैं किस टाइम नहीं कर रहे हैं बारह से एक में कर रहे हैं चार से पांच में कर रहे हैं तो फिगर दैट आउट एंड रि स्ट्रेटाइज द कैंपेन लाइक यू डू ए बी टेस्टिंग द राइट वर्ड आई थिंक यू है राइट एंड Waiting for some live experience wants to listen to. Yeah, exactly. Such as, tell me. Yeah, everything is okay. The numbers and the PPTs are cool. Uh, we wanted to hear from somebody who's actually using it. What's going on? What's the truth? What's the how well it is? So, um, like, like just I'm winding up and I'll tell you the the, the latest thing I'm going to do. So, as you know that I am one of your newest customer and my operator, right? Ah. Uh-huh. Now, my operator is going to next level automation. Going to be done. Automation is going to be done. That I will be start to doing broadcast callings as well. based on the click through rate i will have custom broadcast campaign of voice note hey vish this is vishal founder all you see in the whatsapp but you have not opened it is there something i can help you with main ek level aur isko integrate karne wala hu with the voice marketing as well voice marketing is very rare in the market but voice marketing is very important so maine video bhi dikha di maine voice bhi kar di maine whatsapp bhi kar diya maine usko re-engage so, so there are a lot of things has to happen i get it you know this is this is beautiful i think you have Touched every base here. There's there's not much that I can uh, ask you beyond this. So I'll hop on directly to Q and A. Thank you so much, Vishal, for you know coming here and taking these five seven minutes to tell people about it. I'll quickly share my screen once so that people can see this. Cool. All right now. So um, now let's take up these questions. I would request you know Ekta and uh, Shivam, if you can turn on your cameras, so uh, I can see if you can hear me out. And uh, yeah, then we can take these questions one by one. We will first pick up. Uh, we are already at five, so I'll spend another fifteen minutes or so. We'll cover maximum questions as much as possible. I think Shivam has already started typing an answer to the first question that we have. Uh, still, I'll take it up. So Yudi says here that I'm a freelancer. 
and a lot of clients want WhatsApp marketing where they can shoot messages on WhatsApp to the data they have. Uh, does Meta have an official partner for this? I would like to buy the subscription, but not sure which software or service to trust for this. Uh, Shivam, would you like to tell who is the official partner for this? So yes, UD, we are uh, technology partners with Meta and uh, tech partners, and uh, we can take this up. Uh, if you can share your uh, coordinates, somebody from the sales team will reach out to you. Sure, or you can directly you know uh, scan the QR code on the screen. Uh, and yeah. send them ah, that would also be helpful if you can scan the QR code and uh, schedule a session. Correct. Cool. Uh, the next question is how can we use WhatsApp uh, to encourage repeat purchases? I'm struggling with my customer retention. Ekta, would you would you like to take this? Sure. So great question. I think like I spoke about it in my presentation as well. While so that's the second lever, right? You already have your funnel ready and you want to engage with them and make them buy more so there are different strategies and cohorts of users you want to target at different points of time to increase the repeat purchase for example if there is a shampoo right if you're selling a shampoo you know that they need a shampoo after a month or so depending upon the quantity which you have sold it to them so do you want to re-engage or nudge the customer after one month saying that you made a purchase and you might be running out of it do you want to buy it again so there are different timings and different cohorts you should you should make of your existing customer and try to make, make a repurchase out of them or try to make a purchase or a cross sell and upsell out of them so there can be different retention strategies as well as like one of the best things but i think like now mostly used is the loyalty programs you could also have like a loyalty program uh, it could be as small as say that you get hit to a two, three more points and which you can use as a reward point to redeem later. But that gives you a little stickiness and they assume you that they are a good and a great brand because of the kind of perception you have built by adding that reward point or a loyalty program to them. So there could be different strategies which you can use via WhatsApp. Awesome. I think that answers that question. Um, now, I think we'll uh, we'll pick up one question from the chat and not the Q and A box. Uh, this is from Akhil. So, do we have an option or any way to check or report for abandoned customer who visit or make inquiry or search our product on our page? So, ideally, I think this is the abandoned cart question which you just answered, Ekta. And if people are already with you, how do you reach out to them uh, for an abandoned cart message? Yeah, so it's easy to reach out to them because they might have signed up with you. So you can send up, send like a marketing messages to them. And if they've not signed up, the only way to reach out to them is to click to WhatsApp ads because you don't know their phone numbers. But what you can do is whatever coordinates you have recorded on your website, use that information and create a lookalike audience. Uh, once you create the lookalike audience, you can target the ads to them, click to WhatsApp ads and make them come to your WhatsApp channel if they have already not come there. Awesome. Um, Shivam, I think this is uh, something that you can take up probably that do we have any uh, CSV or any other extension file which uh, where we can keep and read the data at a place. So what I'm understanding from the question is that whatever responses or whatever conversation we get on these chatbots, uh, is there a way we can store them offline through some type of files? on our WhatsApp panel? So yes, uh, there's an option to export the entire data as well as if they have data in a CSV format of their customers or prospect, they can also upload it to the uh, panel, the WhatsApp panel. So both ways it's possible. They can also export it. They can also import their existing data. All right, uh, sounds good. I'll take one more question from chat and then I'll bounce back to the Q&A section that's getting filled up. Um, how will a business be able to create a flow for some cases like appointment booking? Ekta, would you like to take this? Okay, so it depends upon, so this is the functionality which our partners offer. So this depends upon how the partner has offered you this functionality. There could be different ways. A, which is very simple way that, hey, you ask few questions and then you give certain slots, for example, uh, hey, if you want to book a slot, they say yes, which date, you pick up the date, 
what is the day you want to book book it for date or date and then you take the time slot say it's on the first half or on the second half and then you narrow it down and book it that's the very layman way of booking a slot but there could be options where partners would have integrated with the calendly or you can directly integrate with your tools which you already have for booking the slot so that all the slot for example if sanad and shivam both are booking at the same time uh, they can see if sanad has blocked for 9 pm so shivam will not be able to see for 9 pm so it's always good to use it certain kind of tools uh, for booking that and it gets updated real time so you can do that on whatsapp as well awesome um can i know so i'll take one question from q and a can i know which campaign temple is analysis i or right, i'll frame it for next that can i know which uh, campaign performed better one of these people in chat also asked this question that is there a way shivam on the platform where we can see ki which campaign performed better which did not perform better and then we can optimize according to that so uh, performance is directly correlated to the target audience that they are serving so let's say they want to run a campaign for maharashtra on 1000 people uh let's so this is a, again i mean there's a possibility yes there's a possibility yes they would probably have to do uh, export the campaign analytics and uh, map it on a excel sheet and uh, do the comparison there's a possibility awesome and i think one big question i found out which uh, other one of you can decide to pick up is how to get the green tech in whatsapp like the most asked question about whatsapp business platform itself um you know let's hear from the horses mouth ekta these people from meta tell us how do we get it so that's a very common process you go on the side you will find the process to get a blue tick uh, there are a few things to keep in mind while you are applying for the process a your documentation should be right very very most of the situation we have seen that people upload two documents where your company names are different so make sure to upload the documents where your company names are same otherwise that becomes like a very good cause for a yes uh, obvious rejection so uh, but these are you won't even realize that the two names on the two documents are different and that's why i'm like pointing it out like it's very common in india to upload two two documents it might be under the same company one is under the umbrella company one is under the other company or there is a change in limited there is a change in or a spelling error so please make sure that is not there uh, rejection doesn't happen like because of like if everything is right ideally the rejection should not happen if it has happened we would advise you to reopen the ticket and again apply for it uh always share some of the links which are there in your news for example if you have been in news articles always share those news article references it makes your case stronger for getting a blue tick so green tick so please uh, keep those things in mind but otherwise like the process remains the same which all of us know awesome cool so i think that is that solves one great thing ki habi you won't get rejected if everything is all right so uh, that is one thing and while we are at this question uh, shivam if you can fill in on this information that how much time does it uh, usually takes you know the users of my operators business platform or whatsapp to get their green tick verified like does it take a day two days how much so uh, so it depends usually it happens within 3 uh, to 4 days i mean uh, once everything is submitted we we send in the application that the time varies it it depends but usually we've seen within 3 to 4 days uh, we are able to get it in case where there is a rejection then then there are certain uh, reapplication that that the reapplication process that we adhere to uh, we work with the end customer to uh, help them with uh, all the pointers that are there for example a very common pointer is that there has to be publications in uh, some limited number of places online publications or news publication so uh, we probably try to understand and we we try to work with the end customer to uh, fulfill all the all the all the check boxes 
yeah yeah all the check boxes once that is done then uh, we again reapply and it it happens if, if not in the first time then probably in the second time it usually happens it uh, the people are allotted the green tick and i'm assuming the my operator consultants and advisors they by default uh, you know help their customers to get through to this process so customer doesn't have to do it by themselves altogether so uh, all the uh, consultants that we have here they are all meta certified uh, there's a, a proper six module courses that meta does and they have been trained they have been uh, trained again by uh, meta uh, meta team uh, for the green trick process uh, so uh, we have almost all the information and uh, we we try to help as much as we can in very rarest of the rare cases we have seen that it does not get through so yes it happens but in most cases 99% times uh, we are able to uh, get the green tick all right sounds good so i'll take uh, just a couple of more questions there are just too many to uh, answer in this one session uh, and looking at the time constraint i'll just take a couple of questions one for chemo one for ekta so I'll go with you first. So this is this one question that has been popping up multiple times. Uh, I want to ask that if my business is very small with only five, six people and a few clients, should I buy this service now or sometime later? Uh, larger so, question is, is WhatsApp business API for larger businesses or for startups, SMBs as well? So the way that we have priced it it's uh, size agnostic i mean right from a smaller business to a medium to a large enterprises across industries can use this tool and if it's a small business aspiring to be large i would strongly suggest that they use whatsapp business because it would actually help them through the journey okay got it and uh, so that that solved that question that multiple times people have asked it uh, this is this and then one question we'll take from Harith and then we'll probably wind this up. This is for Ekta. Are there any regulatory compliance consideration when automating customer interaction on WhatsApp? And how can we stay compliant if there are any? So there's a whole WhatsApp policy page which is present. Uh, like I can't list like all of them, but I would always ask you to, uh, before even building that solution, please check with the policy. Uh, ideally, like the partners should be able to inform you pre-hand when, because they are the ones who already know what are some of those policies and they can guide you the best. Uh, but still, I would always ask you to go ahead and check the policy page. I could share that um, with the team later and they can share it over the email as well. Uh, but follow those policies because it's very important to be not blogged it becomes like really, really important to be not blogged on WhatsApp when you are running those campaigns and during this festive season. Mm -hmm. So don't spam people and don't get blogged because of the policies, I would say. Awesome. So I'm uh, you know, closing these multiple incoming chats and I'll ask a couple of questions of my own, which you know, so far while talking about WhatsApp in various places, uh, I have encountered uh, two of them only, not not uh, much. So like the one question is that people do ask, uh, can I get blocked? Which I think the answer is yes, outrightly. But like, why would I get blocked? So if you can list, say, top two or say top three reasons why people get blocked on WhatsApp. I generally say that in India, it's very, and because the festive seasons are coming, like I would have talked to a brand, say, last Diwali, and they still message me now on the next Diwali without having like any communication seven days prior. So okay. understand this norm. If somebody has interacted with you within a certain timeline or you have got an opt-in explicitly you're not allowed to send them any messages whether you're doing it manually or through an api api won't even permit you but if you're doing it manually it will go through but repetition of doing that will result in blockage so that's the p0 thing which we have seen which blocks people uh, that they don't understand that whatsapp messages works on opt-ins if you are using an smb app or an api you need to get an opt-in you need to get a consent or a live conversation within a certain timeline to reply back or message them so that's one of the conditions there are other policies as well which you need to so there are advertising policies then there are privacy policies which are there so which needs to be adhered by i'll just share 
some of the policy links over chat so that people yeah. can see it and read through it when they are um, doing any conversations on WhatsApp. Beautiful. So that that's a, that is something you can put it on on the chat. And uh, you have already mentioned opt-in, so that is what I was going to ask Neski. How do people take this opt-in? What is an opt-in in a brief, like thirty seconds? What is an opt-in? How do people take it? So opt-in basically means that the consumer or a user has given you a go-ahead to send them messages. That's basically an opt-in. It could be done in various ways, right? If somebody scans your QR code and start a conversation, if it is a user-initiated conversation, it's an automatic opt-in. But if you have to initiate a conversation, there could be various ways of doing or taking that opt-in. For example, if somebody makes a purchase, if you would have seen people put a line at the bottom that, hey, you agree to get messages on WhatsApp and there's a okay. checkbox to it. So that's a good way to take an opt-in. Okay. There could be various ways if you have um, basically put it an email and they have replied you back. And there could be an opt-in there. There can be different ways of taking an opt-in, but it is only required when you have a business-initiated message. If there is a user-initiated message, that's a that considers as yeah, that's the by default opt-in. Yeah, that, that's about, for yeah. that conversation. Yes, for that conversation at least. Correct. Sounds about right. So yeah, I'll wind this up with this one last thing, which has you know Raj has been pinging again and again. Shivam, because my operator is uh, multi like a partner with multiple CRMs, just like they are partner with Meta. Uh, does WhatsApp this this WhatsApp business API integrate with the CRMs that are partner with uh, my operator, such as say Zoho or Leadscore or any other partner? So does my operator's platform integrate with these CRMs? So, uh, so since so the this is possible. I mean, uh, we have integrations with multiple uh, CRM partners, ERP partners. And uh, for some partners, we have a different uh, application altogether where the actual uh, CRM partner and we have come together to create a, uh, another WhatsApp journey for the end customer. So for, uh, for partners like Connect Insights, we, we also uh, give uh, WhatsApp as a part of our communication offerings apart from IDRs and uh, SMSs, we also provide uh, WhatsApp as a part of that entire suite. So, yes, that's possible. We would be able to do that. The bottom line is that, yes, Raj, um, integration with CRMs, ERPs, and such products is possible. So, that answers your question. Then, that answers, I believe, most of our questions. Of course, I cannot take all of them in the limited time. So, Shivam has dropped his email ID in the chat section. We definitely have a record of all these questions. So, the ones that were not answered, a, you can take another 10-15 seconds to scan this QR code on your screen and text us on WhatsApp. We will get back to you within the next 24 hours. People will contact you. We'll set up a meeting with you and help you go through the entire demo of uh, WhatsApp Business API through my operator. And uh, rest is we are winding up with the session. Thank you so much, everyone who joined, who stayed till the end. Thank you, speakers, for extending another 20 minutes to answer these questions that we had from the audience. Uh, WhatsApp is a very interesting topic. I think if we were to give another, say, 60 minutes to it, we would still have only covered uh, a percentage of it and not more than that. But still, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a very fruitful session, I hope, for all of us, for the speakers, for the attendees, and everyone involved. Once, once again, guys, thank you so much and happy Diwali before we leave. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, everyone.